here we are going to divide a polynomial by a monomial 3y to the power 8 minus 4y to the power 6 plus 5 y raised to the power 4 whole upon y to the power 4. Now here we find that y to the power 4 is a monomial. Now in this type of question we will have to separate the terms. Separating the terms means this denominator y to the power 4 is for all the three terms of the numerator. So we can write this as 3 y to the power 8 upon y to the power 4 minus 4 y to the power 6 upon y to the power 4 plus 5 y to the power 4 upon y to the power 4. So we have separated out the terms. So all the three terms in the numerator are having the same denominator that is y to the power 4. Now here we will be using the laws of exponents. So 3 remains as it is but this is y to the power 8 upon y to the power 4. The base is same and it is division. So we are going to subtract the powers. So 8 minus 4 we get y raised to the power of 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. Minus 4 remains as it is. Here again laws of exponent x to the power a upon x to the power b will give you x to the power a minus b. So here 6 and 4 will be subtracted. We are going to get y the power will be 6 minus 4 that is 2 plus 5 here the powers are same so 4 minus 4 is 0 so we get y to the power 0 and we know that any number to the power of 0 will be 1 or we can just cancel out this y to the power 4 because they are identical terms so if they are cancelled we are left with only 5 so the answer to this problem will be 3 y raised to the power 4 minus 4 y square plus 5. Similarly, let us see this question p cube q to the power 6 minus p to the power 6 q cube whole upon p cube q cube. The process will be same we are going to separate the terms p cube q 6 we are going to divide it by p cube q cube and we are also going to divide the second term of the numerator that is p 6 q cube with the same denominator p cube q cube. So again separating the terms, the numerator there are two terms, denominator one term. So both the terms are divided by p cube q cube. Now here we find that p cube is same. So we can cancel out that. We are left with q to the power 6 upon q to the power 3. So this is in the form of x to the power a upon x to the power b. The base is same and its division so powers can be subtracted. So we get 6 minus 3 that is 3. And in this term we find that q cube is same. So we can cancel out that from numerator and denominator. And here we are having p to the power 6 upon p to the power 3. The base is same and it is division so we can again subtract the powers in this case. So 6 minus 3 we will get 3. So we get final answer q cube minus p cube.